Okay, I got busy with the microbes that I made up the other day from fermented clay and the uh, burnt clay and uh, they bobbled away and it can only be facultative um, anaerobic bacteria so they'll both live in oxygen and in and without so this is the mix and it's uh, oversaturated or super saturated with molasses so it's about half molasses and half the microbes in there um, I've just got a coke bottle that I don't drink coke but uh, it's got a coke bottle that's in there the lid is loose so it won't blow up and I'll just uh, probably open them uh, that's loose so it's, any air is going to come out it's not going to act as an airlock and while I was there this is uh, Pollard some Bakashi, not Bakashi, Pollard and Biochar. Um, I put some FPJ in it. I've got um, some oil. I've got microbes that were from the fermented clay and the burnt clay. And I'm just going to pack that into some bags like this one. And that'll sit there and ferment for two weeks. And then I'll uh, dry it out in the sun. And this will just become my Bakashi brand substrate, whatever. Pollard's just a finer brand and uh, mixes up nicely. This will come to good, good uh, come together good. So that was that. And last of not last but not least, um, this is some Bakashi that's out of a bucket, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's pretty white and uh, that will be going out in the garden pretty soon okay they're wrapped up now uh, airtight give this two weeks dry it out start using it in my bakashi buckets